Hello and welcome to Be Madden Revit Tutorials. In today's tutorial, I would like to show you how to cut adaptive components. Here you can see triangle adaptive components that I use for facades. And now I will edit this uh, family. I will uh, turn on shared parameter and uh, I will turn on the cutting with voids. Now I will uh, edit in the it into the project and I will uh, close the family editor. All right, now we will create new mass for cutting adaptive components. You just need to create new mass component and uh, using cut tool you can cut any. Uh, part of the adaptive uh, component all right uh, now by clicking first you need to click on adaptive component then on the uh, mass form and then we will add a parameter or we will uh, change the visibility uh, so this new mass won't be visible in fine and me medium uh, visual level all right now i will show you one example more for this corner part here i will create a spherical form and also i will turn off the fine and medium visual level so when we open the uh, lowest visual level our uh, mass will be visible and in the medium and in the fine it won't be visible what's left uh, the opening on the adaptive component will be visible only all right as I said before by clicking on adaptive component and on the mass we created uh, we will cut the adaptive component now I will show you uh, one 3d view from the inside so you can see all right all right this is how it looks from the, the axonometric view and now I will show you how to cut part of the adaptive components that is outside of the mass surface. This is one very annoying and disturbing problem. If you face this problem before, this is solution for you. Now I will show you the way how you can cut this part here. Actually, we will, you can hide it, but you will have this, this uh, element. Uh, missing and on other views it will appear every time you open a new view now i will show you how to cut it and that will solve all problem in other views here i will hide these mass elements so i can easily make my new creation easily i will model the shape using mass only in part where we have a problem with with uh, these adaptive elements or where we where we want to cut the adaptive element and i will create this shape i need to change it a little bit here all right as you can see, I create three, uh, two different 3D views. One view shows my adaptive components and one shows only roof, which I used as a reference. And now by clicking with cut tool, you can cut the, the adaptive component. One important thing is that the adaptive component should be uh, shared. You can turn on the shared component in adaptive uh, family. 
all right now we will change the view settings we will deselect fine and medium so it won't be visible when our uh, view level is on fine and middle now i will show you how to cut the these adaptive components that cover our chimney or cut our uh, ventilation shafts and here I use the same method I create a mass I select the surface and now by clicking on uh, adaptive components one by one and using cut tool I will cut all these uh, all these adaptive components one by one all right I'm clicking on adaptive component then uh, after that I'm clicking on uh, mass now I will change the visibility level by deselecting the fine and middle and it won't be visible in our view because our view is uh, fine the visibility level is on fine detail level is fine and when I change it on lowest level it appear again so we can make uh, any modification we need any adjustment we need now I will show you one example more we click uh, we select cut tool we click on our tiles and then we click on our mass that we created all right here can be uh, roof window on any for any other reason this is a way how you can cut your adaptive components adaptive shared components all right that's it uh, yeah, and don't forget to subscribe and to share my tutorials with your friends and colleagues see you in the next tutorial